Greetings and salutations everybody. In today's video I'm going to show you how to download and install Cinebench R20. But before that please don't forget to subscribe down below and thank you for watching. Well first thing is first you're going to need a software to unzip the file. In this case I recommend WinRAR. It's easy to use and it's free. So go ahead open up your web browser and type in WinRAR and you'll get these results. Also, I will have the direct link for you in the description. So once you open that, you will have a couple options here. You want to choose the 5.71 release, whatever language you want, and the Windows version. In my case, it's English and 64-bit. Go ahead, click on it. It's a very tiny file, and it opens up instantly. Over here, go ahead, hit install, hit OK, and that's it. Hit done, close this out. So this part is done. You could go ahead and close out this part. Next, go back to your web browser and type in Cinebench R20. And again, I will leave, leave a link down in the description. And you want to choose this option here, which is Guru 3D. Go ahead, click on it, and scroll down to the area where it says download locations, and you want to choose the second one here. Go ahead, hit download. It will bring you to the next page here, and in just a few seconds, you'll be able to download it. Here it is. Go ahead, hit OK. As you can see, it's going to open up with the WinRAR. Now this file is a little bit bigger, it's over 200 megs, so it will take a little bit, it depends on your internet speed. In the meantime, go ahead, minimize this, and go to the empty space on your desktop and create a new folder by right clicking, hitting new, hitting folder, and name it whatever you want it. In my case, I named it Cinebench 20, and that's where we're going to extract this file. Here it is, it's picking up now. For some reason this file seems to uh, have a slow start, but once it gets like, you know, a quarter of the way, then you feel your full potential of your internet speed. Okay, so it's ready. Here it is, go ahead, close this. And you'll have all these files here. Go ahead and hit back once, and you will see this folder here saying Cinebench R20, go ahead highlight it, right click it, and go ahead and hit extract to specify folder, and choose the folder you create on the desktop, in my case it's Cinebench 20, just like that, hit OK, and now you'll extract. And again, this really depends on your system. I'm sure if you're using Cinebench 20, you have a pretty nice system with multi-cores. For this video, I'm using just a, a regular dual-core desktop, but it, it gets the job done. And there it is. As you can see, there are some files in the folder now. Go ahead and close everything out. We're all done double click and there it is you're gonna get the Cinebench application double click on it and the seems like the R20 Cinebench takes a little bit longer to load up I noticed that even on the nicer systems a little bit longer to get into it than the Cinebench 15 I guess it's just a a newer version and it's a little bit beefier or something but here it is there we are and that's it everybody that's how easy it was you go ahead hit accept and now you could bench all you want your new system so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe down below goodbye